Yo, base out here. So, welcome to my Grand Blue Fantasy Relink Gondadoza build video slash showcase. I've been playing on PC, so this is the only character I have at 100. I haven't been really playing other characters because they don't have punching characters. But I do want to plan on picking up Siegfried or Zeta because they gave me their character sigils. Uh, but let's start off with his uh, mechanics. So he has this thing called Internal Rage, which is kind of like his currency thing and mana or whatever <laughs> that you get from doing his normal attacks. And if you time it correctly, you can have more rage. There is another move in here that actually gives him rage. There's this this um, buff move that I'm using here. Right, uh, I guess I can't show you there, but this one instantly gives you rage, but it has a pretty long cast time. And then if you want to also use this one, this one also gives you rage, but it also gives the entire party attack bonus of 25%, which is pretty nice if they don't reach the damage cap. This is what I use because it's a lot faster, and most of the time I just needed like three anyways. So... Everything kind of ties in into his Raging Fist. And Raging Fist usually by default have a long cast time. Right? That takes freaking a long time. And that's actually faster than what it usually is. I have Quick Charge, which makes it even faster. But by default, it's slower. So just take that with a grain of salt here. <laughs> but if you have Rage, let's just do... Um, Let's just get some basic rage here. I'm just button mashing. Just so you can see the level 5 even faster, right? And if you actually got more rage, it's even faster. So, his normal attacks actually have a timing thing. It's kind of similar to Siegfried. So, after the, la the attack lands or after kind of like the move finishes, you don't actually have a hit. But, like if I just hit here and then if I time it correctly, right? Boom. So pretty much right after the move kind of finishes right away, you hit that attack button again. And that would actually, um, you can see that, that little blinking symbol thing that happens on him. That means you successfully timed it correctly. Um, so if you actually do it, oh, I messed up there. If you mess up and you continue, you really lose the combo. You have to actually successfully chain it correctly to get maximum rage, right? And if you get Link, you get more Rage too. Okay. And then look how much faster it is with full Rage. And the damage increases by a lot. Okay. Uh, I believe at for me, if I just do full Rage at around 7. 7 Rage, it goes to 1 to 10. You can hold it and it'll keep staying there. Um, about I do it about that much. But if you do, if you have Rage... And you don't actually attack for a while, you actually lose it. So if you don't keep attacking, you're going to lose it. So beware of that. That's why you want to keep your combos kind of keep going. And that's basically his mechanics. All right. We have some skills that I want to go over that I like to use. So there's this gap closing move that dashes him and does a shoulder. That's one of my favorites. And then he also have this sky shattering fist or what air air hot sky breaker. He actually jumps in air, so he, I like this because I can use it to dodge sometimes. And because he jumps in air and then he dives down. And then I have I use this buff ability obviously that gives rage twenty five percent to all um their party members, and that gives about five. And then I use I like counter. Because then it actually allows him to negate a damage and then attack back. It saves me a lot in an, an, in many random instances. Um, obviously, you can also run another move called Stomp. Which actually slows the enemy and damages them. Which is pretty nice. Which is this one. I, I find this cool. And if you're playing kind of like a tank build or whatever. You can give Hostility, Stout, and Jam. You can read that right there. This one... It takes too long. I don't like it. And then this one, I, I personally haven't used it too much. Because it looks like it takes a while. <laughs> and you have pots. It removes debuffs though, which is okay. But yeah, so that's the basics here. So I want to go over my build that I'm using. 
If you notice, I did about like 1.2 mil. And let's just go over my gear right here. I'm using the Golden Fist, which is the Ascension weapon. Before I was using the crit weapon, but right now I'm using Ascension weapon. And what you want is pretty much damage cap, obviously. A lot of the DPSs and even support and everything like dam da damage cap because I feel like as you're leveling up, you're hitting that cap a lot sooner than, than later. <laughs> I heard that having four damage four damage cap five is just enough. So that's pretty much all you need. Um if you can max it out, whatever, and then that should give you to the max level of let me see, where is it? That will give you to about 65%. I'm level 65, which is 250%. So that's that. He does a lot of big damage. So you do need the damage cap. You can hit that way faster than the other people. <laughs> By the way, I don't, I don't have these max yet um, because I want to actually get good ones. The only one I level up was this one and this one, which have like guts on them. So I plan to use them for a while. And secondary, I would like to use quick charge because that actually affects his raging fist. Everything kind of like builds into the raging fist because that's where the big damage is. So that's where I would like to go for. I would like quick charge. I think just having two is enough. And then if you can get like an extra quick charge on another secondary, that would be great. Because all you need is like 30. So that, or you can run three of them. You run three quick charge or whatever. Um, I like charge attack just because there I, I might change this or not, depending on what I get. I have this one. I do want to change. I only wear this because I had auto revive. So this build is actually pretty offensive and kind of balanced in the same time because I'm running offense and defensive at the same time. I have auto revive. I have guts. Guts is pretty much like endure. When you get hit and you, you're supposed to faint, you have one HP left. So that's great. And auto revive is kind of the same thing, but you get four HP back instead of just one HP. So you can actually have both of them. It's nice. <laughs> It's good when you're doing proud mode, uh, which I am doing right now. So I won't, I don't really like enmity. I don't usually most of the time you don't want to be a low HP anyways. So that's that. But auto revive is great. I'm only using because of auto revive. Otherwise, I put like a damage thing, maybe another quick charge or stamina or if I can get supplement damage. OK, supplement damage. That will be great. Um, there's some instances. Uh, the only way to get that is through the, the Curio appraisal system. Uh, I can kind of show you that in a bit. Um, this also is super good. This pretty much makes you do a superior element no matter what, except for plain elemental like Bahamut Versa. Um, but I think the damage still increase. I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> but you don't get that. You don't see that yellow number, right? When you see yellow number, you're doing super effective. This makes you kind of do super effective all the time. Which is OP, right? It's like extra 20% damage. It, it goes after the damage cap. Next I have is the Krabby Resonance. Um, you want to get level 45 to so get all the P pincers. I can kind of show you where to get that. Um, these two kind of go hand in hand. You get this from the, the kid as well. Um, so this one. At level 45, you get 100 attack. A, not 100. 1,000 attack, right? Um, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of videos on YouTube on um, location and also like article and stuff. So you can go do that there. And in turn, that will give you this. This gives you 20% more HP and 10% damage cut, AKA damage mitigation. So you see, you pretty much just take 90% damage, AKA take 10% less damage of everything, which is great. You make you kind of, kind of tanky, not gonna lie. And this is a signature one. You can buy this at the Nick knack shop right with app cost seven golden badges um i've been trying to roll for this for ages and i can't get it to save my life so i'm trying to get a plus version of this but this increases the damage cap for his raging fist so that's why you see that do big damage i feel like i'm hitting the cap anyway still <laughs> i don't lie i could do probably do more and whatnot um if i if i end up getting this as a damage thing and then i will probably need another one i also want to mention about this one linked together this one, um, a nice mention. I, I kind of want to add this in there because I want to actually boost the amount of link level that I get. Every time um, you do like attacks, you get more link. 
and link attacks and stuff like that. So that's pretty good because then you can do maximum output, right? Since you have full rage all the time here. And I also want to go over my character here. Masteries, obviously everything's maxed out I have because I've been grinding it. I don't have a full collection yet, still working on it. And my overmastery here, um, this is what I have so far. Um, I do want to get normal damage cap in one of these as well. So this is where most of my crit come from right now at the moment. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure you guys already know this, but the crab... The, the crab kid. Like, there's the entrance. You kind of just turn left here. This... There's a kid usually standing right here. I guess then I finished it. He's not there anymore. This is a kid usually stands here and he likes to cat cat collect wee pincers. So the wee pincers is what uh those crabs are. So each time you get one, you get an increased level on that crabby residence. Alright. And for let's see, we got fast travel. Docks. Let's go to Sea Hollow. So we can fast travel through the appraisal. You kind of go through here anyways from the story. This chest is kind of randomly respawns. <laughs> but if you go here, you can actually get... Uh, you can get War Elemental and Supplement Damage, which is pretty good. Right? So that's RNG. That's the only way to get it. The only way. Which is kind of sad, but it is what it is. <laughs> The gotcha. And for the character essentials, you can pretty much buy it here in the Dally shop, right? Uh, I probably bought it already, so it's not here anymore. <laughs> yeah, so you can notice here that the character ones, right? So you can buy these here. And obviously, you can also get it from the gotcha. The Trans Marvel is probably the better pity because it's guaranteed legendary. Which is pretty much only, it can only be legendary. So I'm still trying to get that. It's been a while. I'm still trying to get it. And Ascension Weapon, uh, you forge it there. And you pretty much just weapon upgrade. I'm using Ascension because it has the weapon up awakening. Right? So it's like level level 8 right now. I'm trying to cap it out. And it also gives some damage caps, which is great. So that is pretty much my build. And enjoy the rest of the, the videos of the fights and stuff. Enjoy the big damage, especially during link time, okay? Because during link time, you get max rage and you have quick charge. Think about it. Okay, I gotta look at the tail this time. Oh god! <laughs> Now I expect to fight freaking two dragons, man. Oh, damn, I actually died. <laughs> One burpee. Oh, 
Of course, I'm ready. You work I'm too far. I don't why they'll come in. I'm missing my thing. Oh, okay, he did it first. Gotta roll around. Face your reckoning. One point three mil. Ooh. Hey Oreo. I discount her. Yes, mayor. 1.4, man. I forgot to jump. Are you okay? Crap. <laughs> I tried to revise the nada. I forgot to jump. <laughs> Cabola. Moves. 
Like I fell off. Keep messing up my thing, man. 